Earth's outer core is a fluid layer about 2,400 kilometers (1,500 miles) thick and composed of mostly iron and nickel that lies above Earth's solid inner core and below its mantle. Its outer boundary lies 2,890 kilometers (1,800 miles) beneath Earth's surface. The transition between the inner core and outer core is located approximately 5150 kilometers, 3200 miles beneath the earth's surface. Unlike the inner core, the outer core is liquid. The inner core is also referred to as the solid core. Topic: Properties Seismic inversions of body waves and normal modes constrain the radius of the outer core to be 3,483 km with an uncertainty of 5 km, while that of the inner core is 1220 plus or minus 10 km. Estimates for the temperature of the outer core are about 3,000 to 4,500 K, 2,730 to 4,230. 30 degrees Celsius, 4940 to 7640 degrees Fahrenheit in its outer regions and 4000 to 8000 K, 3730 to 7730 degrees Celsius, 6740 to 13940 degrees Fahrenheit near the inner core. Evidence for a fluid outer core includes from seismology which shows that seismic shear waves are not transmitted through the outer core because of its high temperature. Modeling work has shown that the outer core is a low viscosity fluid that convects turbulently. Eddy currents in the nickel iron fluid of the outer core are believed to influence the Earth's magnetic field. The average magnetic field strength in the Earth's outer core was measured to be 2.5 millitesla, 50 times stronger than the magnetic field at the surface. The outer core is not under enough pressure to be solid, so it is liquid even though it has a composition similar to the inner core. Sulfur and oxygen could be present in the outer core, as heat is transferred outward toward the mantle. The net trend is for the inner boundary of the liquid region to freeze, causing the solid inner core to grow. This growth rate is estimated to be 1 mm per year. <laughs> 